fine so shall we um fine i guess everybody has joined now uh, we are all are uh, 24 in total 23 plus i myself so we can start with okay so before we uh, move ahead with the lab session uh, i'll ask, last to ask you uh, how was your experience in last two lectures uh, we did online it was for the first time that we used google meet and we conducted lectures for uh, around uh, one hour so if uh, if you can share the you know details uh, in five seven minutes we can uh, have a brainstorming uh, if you have any suggestions or any uh, other uh, remarks comments we can share about it you can unmute your mic and you can speak. Or if you're not comfortable, you can even type in the comment box. I'm, I'm comfortable with both the things. Uh, we can start with Yashpal Singh. Yashpal Singh, what, what was your experience? Uh, everything was okay, sir, but like there was a, a little bit like concentration problem for me. Like I was used to in a fast speed of um, pitch of type of lecture and it gets little bit boring after like an hour or something and they don't even have a lunch break, like 10 to 2 p.m. <laughs> no lunch break and continuous in the lecture. Mm -hmm. okay. But your lecture was good. Yeah. Uh, that's the reason why we have uh, tried to structureize our sessions in such a way that after certain time we uh, we get certain uh, you know icebreaker in, in form of a question or discussion because you know uh, it is it is new for everybody it's a new normal you know so uh, we all are experimenting in a different way so that's why I thought that you know uh, let us know from the actual stakeholders so you people can tell me because. Uh, my objective is very clear to you know uh, serve you in a best, best of, uh, whatever best way I can do that, right? Uh, Parthiv says good experience and better than second sim. Now we adjust with it. Oh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's, uh, I feel like you know I'm talking to somewhere my you know in-laws uh, who have started adjusting with me, <laughs> right? So uh, yeah, Arshil, can you can you unmute yourself and can you tell me, Parthiv, can you tell me? I like to listen to you. Yes, sir. Yeah, Bharti, tell me. <laughs> because uh, second sem ma apne jare tha, jare aao gado pehli baar tu ma online lecture ne attend karta tha. Itte thodu kam na bolak tu tu ne kantaro aao tu tu ma. Thime thime pachi ani aase fawi gaya online course so ekbe karya itle practice padi gaye ham. <laughs> okay, okay. So you mean to say that you you now adjusted with the technology, not with Deepak sir, right? <laughs> because we we had that tradition uh, uh, in the lab in second semester that before we start the lab for uh, two to five minutes we used to talk, right? So there can be one common ground, you know, uh, built and we can talk about it. Uh, Meloni, can you tell me? I'm I'm just randomly telling your names and asking you. Uh, if you have any question, you can you know uh, directly uh, tell me. Right? Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, sir. It was better than second sir. Right, right, right. So we are on the right track, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, fine, fine. Jai. Jai, where are you? Yeah, here, sir. Yes. Yeah, it so was a good is, experience. Sir. It's a good experience, right? Okay, fine. So we can go ahead in that way. Is, is, is there anybody uh, who would like to share? 
experience or like to comment meet kishan kushal mithul nista neeti nupur anybody who like to share depend it is like in a traditional teaching you know if you don't uh, find the response from the students you feel like you are you know teaching to nobody right that's why i thought that uh, uh, there can be a latency problem of you know this that's why i thought that we switch off or you know uh, we go for only uh, you know voice instead of going for video okay no pure and i'm enjoying online lectures good good okay fine so we can start with fine okay uh, the way yashwal uh, uh, shared in the very first you know uh, comments that uh, sessions seem to be boring you know in the, in the way so that's why uh, what we have decided is we have divided uh, 12 lab sessions in three categories and category wise there are plans to implement right uh we are trying uh, they are not watertight compartments type of thing that we will stick to it but more or less we can you know we follow that so that that uh, we can you know reach to the uh, desired goals fine so i'm going to discuss those things first right we'll talk about each and every point we are going to discuss in all this 11 12 labs and uh, today i'm going to uh, share uh, guidelines for writing your first assigned book review fine so so that you can start preparing from today and uh, you can have some time and you can do you know best in a way and at the time of uh, the lab we have for book review or presentation i can ask for, for you people that in that typical group of 20 students or 23 students we can go ahead with the presentation and we can do well right as i told you in the beginning of the session that this is new normal so we have to be acquainted and we have to develop and you know enhance our netiquettes in a way so that we can do well in online so i'll start with uh the presentation uh, in any way uh, where you feel that you you have a question or query you can uh, definitely uh, write in a comment box so that i can understand that okay there is a question so i can you uh, know i can put there yeah uh, i would suggest that you know unmute your mic and you speak because uh, from my laptop i can see the only one screen that is of my presentation so probably i won't be able to see your comments right so uh, you can uh, unmute yourself and you can uh, you know just put a query or a question or suggest something right okay now uh, can you see the screen lab activity orientation and flow of conducting online lab right is, is it clear with everybody everybody can see this okay mithul and dipen right i'll ask you so uh, i'll confirm uh, with you both of you whenever i feel that uh, uh, i have a doubt with uh, for anything and right? i'll ask you this two people right dipen and i'll ask dipen and mithul right okay so we we'll start with uh, the lab activities uh, i will not repeat this because it has been uh, explained earlier uh, we have got a lab session uh, for 2 hours so in this 2 hours what we will do uh, these are 10 activities there are certain labs which has four sessions or four hours that is uh, there will be two labs for certain labs right so we we'll start with role play letter writing uh, that is formal letter writing group discussion presentations book review mock interviews report writing case studies conducting meeting and minutes of the meeting and practical assessment that would be your viva now uh, these are not the sequence right that we need to follow this so what shall we do is this is lab 00 this is not lab 1 it's lab 00 so in this lab 
we will talk about how we will conduct the lab right and i'll ask your inputs also and based on your inputs my understanding my uh, you know uh, planning right we will reach to a conclusion where we can do our lab sessions effectively so we start with the first serial number role play what role play means right what shall we do in role play in role play uh, there are such small conversations if you remember in english uh, subject when we dealt with that right uh, we used to write certain dialogues so here we need to write in that way right so here there will be some situations given to you and uh, on the spot uh, impromptu or maybe for uh, certain after certain preparations you need to speak for 2 to 4 hours a uh, 2 to 4 minutes uh, individually right so in in that way we can go ahead so i'll give you enough time i'll give you titles topics we'll discuss on it and group wise there will be role plays so what shall we do is uh, there will be two moderators for the role plays we'll select two students from your batch and uh, the rest students the remaining students will be divided in groups and they will have role play so that would be something new unique in the next lab where you will find that how role plays can be performed online right that, that would be something exciting fascinating in the next one next lab uh, letter writing is uh, uh, here the topic letter writing is also there in your syllabus lectures but that is far you know uh, in the uh, fourth unit fifth unit so here what shall i do is i will uh, explain you letters uh, layout of letter then uh, what are the templates what are the sentences you can you know uh, use for formal writing letters and then i'll give you three letters to write and then you are supposed to upload i'll share the google form all those three letters uh, you can write in a, in a, in a on a paper because that uh, your gtu exam would be paper pen test so it is important for us to have that practice right maybe it would be the last one but we need to keep on practicing so you need to write on a paper you need to scan it and upload it right so there will be three letters i'll give you as assignment i'll give you time to write during the lab time and we can go ahead fine uh, then group discussion group discussion is another uh, challenging thing uh, how we can conduct online but i have prepared certain ideas i have gathered information and i have gone through certain you know tutorials by myself that how in the west and the people do that and uh, uh, based on those inputs what shall i do is uh, i'll give you the inputs for around 20 25 minutes i'll give you how uh, group discussion can be conducted online and uh, here our main focus would be how we use language fine group discussion include includes lot many things but we'll not talk about those things we will stick to one thing that how language can be useful or how language can impact more in group discussion for your better performance then unit number 4 serial number 4 talks about presentations presentations means here i'll uh, give you topics in advance for example in the next level only i'll share certain topics you can pick and choose any topic from the syllabus and you can prepare a presentation for two to three minutes the way i deliver online lecture you can pick up any topic and you can start you know presenting so that would be the session book review uh, i'm going to share the list of books which has been prescribed by gtu but we will not uh, you know stick to that if you select any book from there it's okay if you read certain book and that book has you know lots of influence on you and you can feel that i can sir i can better by you know sharing the book review of that then that way i can allow you that and and, and how to prepare uh, you know a book review what would be the presentation what would be the steps segments sections i'm going to discuss today only so that you can start preparing so in today's lab only right i'm going to talk about the lab uh, what i expect the in terms of work from you uh, after five labs so you can have enough time so in the last minute there should not be rush then uh, sixth one is mock interview right uh, this is very important for us because at uh, any point of time at any juncture you know uh, you will be interviewed or you will conduct interview you can be interviewer or you can be interviewee 
right in both the scenario you are anywhere in in any side of the table right you need to understand certain etiquette certain ideas how to you know reply the questions and all these things so here initially we'll talk about uh, we will bring in the ideas and you know uh, techniques of ielts exam in ielts there is a you know called cue card and there is a, a mock interview type of thing so we will use that thing so that if you are planning for any overseas education you can get the idea you can have a standardized idea about it and apart from that and in the next phase in that lab only we'll talk about job interview these are the two interviews very important for us right there are many types of interviews right but he, for us one is academic interview second is job interviews these are two types of interviews which are very very important for us so we'll talk about it then uh, seventh one is report writing uh, when i explained in the uh, orientation of the lecture that uh, report writing is very important for us right so when we talk about report writing there will be many types of reports so probably when we reach to this uh, you know lab by the time you would have completed report writing uh, tips techniques templates layouts in the class right so here we will have practice about it then eighth one is case studies this is something very exciting right uh, for me even because this is something i will try to give you uh, the flavor of what iims do what iits do fine so generally in iims and iits uh, students are not you know uh, simply attend the class they discuss a lot about case studies so here gtu has prescribed right uh, case studies list of case studies branch wise there are, they call it they call it branch specific case studies so here what shall we do is we will pick and choose certain case studies from there and by the time if you feel that looking at that link right i'm going to share that link today only right so you will get to know that that which kind of uh, case studies are there so you can also uh, you know uh, share certain case studies if you come across we will also discuss those case studies right so we'll talk about it then conducting meeting and minutes of meeting this is very important uh, as i mentioned in the lecture that before meeting uh, we need to share agenda and after the meeting we share minutes of the meeting see when we meet professionally when we meet formally there is always one thing right that is the reason for meeting objective for meeting right what is that objective that is what we call agenda the so list of objectives list of purposes list of reasons for meeting is called agenda and each point of agenda is called agendum fine this is little bit technical term we'll talk about it and whatever decisions made during the meeting right or we need to take follow ups after the meeting but for the next meeting these all decisions made or discussions which are important and are required to be recorded or noted right for reference right they are called minutes of the meeting it is also popularly known in acronym form as mom right you must have heard that you know you send the mom mom means minute of the meeting we'll discuss about it serial number 10 is practical assessment right so here uh, as i told you that there are uh, there is one component in your uh, continuous evaluation that is viva so apart from your online course from coursera right i am going to conduct a viva i'll ask you questions the way we had viva uh, in english it would be slighter uh, slightly different from that right so we'll talk about it so vivas would be there uh, what uh, viva would be something like you know mock interviews i'll ask you question you answer the question and based on that i'll you know gauge you from uh, 10 marks so I'll, you will get you know out of 10 so in that way this will work right okay so this is what uh, we can go ahead now uh, i'll ask to ask mithul mithul and dipen you know uh, is it fine till now everybody is it fine till now you can write yes in the you know comment box so that i can go ahead dependent mithul uh, is it fine till now 
yeah i know that computer people are very fast in typing fine yeah parthi when uh, shua said i know only these two people have replied yes so where are you all there he is there okay then the pen okay mithul fine so we can go ahead can we okay so if you look at the screen you will find that the flow of the lab for 110 20 minutes as i told you that i have divided labs in you know three categories this lab we will discuss for role plays group discussion and case studies right the way we had uh, uh, dirga open the session in the last time you know in same way there will be students and will be assigned the duties to open the session so there will be 5 minutes for opening remarks we have 120 minutes so we have ample time so and we have less students so i'll give you certain more time to discuss so there will be 5 minutes time to open the session for example in the next lab i'm going to talk about role plays so here uh, the student who has been assigned that student will talk about uh, what is role play how role plays are important all these things right the student can contact me uh, in person right uh, on whatsapp or call and i'll explain then there will be 15 minutes for in instructions and brainstorming right for example what is role play what are the tips for role play what are the tips for group discussion what are the do's and don'ts for the group discussion right uh, we'll talk about it for 15 minutes and 60 minutes that means there will be three groups right so 20 students or 18 students will be divided in three so six seven students in one group would be there and i'll give them one topic and i'll give them you know time to prepare for example i'll give them time for uh, some 10 minutes where they will prepare right and uh, the other students remaining students i'll share certain web resources you can watch certain youtube videos that will help you or you can also uh, participate and help your students your friends then there will be 5 uh, uh, minutes or 6 minutes for group discussion or role play or case studies right and last 5 minutes will have feedback from everybody so it is like everybody would be there and they'll be attending they'll be watching they'll be sharing feedback in that way the 60 minute would you know will be used or utilized then last of the uh, next 5 minutes would be useful resources right for example uh, uh, role plays and uh, uh, group discussion case studies so what are the other useful resources i may uh, share certain uh, online course links uh, videos uh, pdf files i'll share right i'll also share certain anecdotes or stories or important incidents which are related to that particular topic we are discussing on that day so i'll talk about that and uh, next 5 minutes would be q and a that means uh, whatever questions you have related to that for example uh, i shared the feedback you could not get time to share or you know respond to that that sir you share in this way but according to me it should be like this so for that we can have 5 minutes fine then to record your responses in a quantifiable way that you said that i understood but how i came to know for example in the after first lecture i conducted quiz and the uh, average score of all 69 students is 4.65 that means almost everybody scored 5 out of 5 right that means whatever i conveyed right it has been it has reached to the level and through your feedback in form of your answers i'll get to know then there will be attendance time i'll, I'll take the attendance right Uh, so that there should not be any anyone left out sometimes it happens that you know uh, it is remaining and you need to call me or message me my name is not there or something like that so it should not happen that's why i have spent 5 minutes for that and then 5 uh, minutes because if i conduct uh, if i take your attendance in 2 minutes so i can adjust that another 3 minutes in quiz or you know, discussion so in that way we can be flexible last 5 minutes would be there for closing remarks Fine. So uh, the one student will will be knowing in advance that this is what uh, my my turn would be today. So that student would be noting down, or you know, that student will share that what did we learn, what is take home today. 
right in opening remarks it was objective of the session and in closing remarks it would be outcomes that whatever we thought that this is what we have you know thought of understanding or learning from this lab could we learn to that level or not so that would be uh, in a closed circle so in a way that communication channel would be completed this is what i intend to do now uh, second category for lab con conducting lab would be uh, especially when we deal with the topics like letter writing report writing and mom the mom stands for minutes of meeting here what is the change change is for instruction and brainstorming as you know assign 30 minutes because when i explain the layouts templates and i discuss uh, what, what are the do's and don'ts for letter writing report writing mom it will take around 30 minutes time so we'll i've spread that one then uh, i'll give you three letters three reports or three moms to write right for that i'll give you 20 minutes time uh, definitely you can write within 5 7 minutes but i we want the best output right because it is directly linked with the marks and when we have some certain time why to go for it because if you write in a hazard way if you write in a best way it will take almost similar type of time so it's about building or uh, you know good habits right so we'll talk we'll give you 20 minutes time so that you can you know plan your letter plan your report plan your mom and you in the best possible manner you can write it on on the page or in the book and you can scan it and you can upload it next 5 minutes would be useful resources fine so there there may be certain videos uh, web sources material right uh, will share for example when you completed your passport to communication skill online course you could learn letter writing that was semi formal type of thing right so here i'll share certain material certain resources which are there for uh, you know uh, formal letter writing or report writing then i'll based on our discussion right uh, my instructions brainstorming i'm going to have quiz but here what i'll do is after the quiz there will be discussion that will you know will talk about questions so if everybody you know answers correctly there won't be any room for discussion but even we'll talk about it fine so uh, it might happen that you randomly tick certain thing and you could not understand the question or you could not understand the option so there is a room for discussion so i spent 5 10 minutes for there 5 minutes for attendance as it is and 5 minutes for closing remarks so that would be the layout for you know letter writing report writing and mom now if you go for book review and presentation so here in this right uh you look at it there are two empty boxes there is no quiz right there are uh, there is no quiz uh, i have given here why if you look here there was quiz if you look at question answer was there right now here there is no question answer because when you present a book review when you present your presentation there cannot be q and a there cannot be quiz because it is it is your presentation in a way there would this, this would be the flipped classrooms where students that means you people will take over the charge and you will discuss about it now you look at this uh, starting from opening remarks to closing remarks i'll give you 30 seconds to go through it if you can go through it fine so here what shall we do is uh, i have spent 18 minutes approximately i thought that there will be 20 students maximum in a batch uh, keeping in mind the lab formulation so 3 to 4 minutes for presentation so in that way uh, 20 into 4 that goes to 80 fine uh, 5 minutes for useful resources here <clears throat> i am going to talk about a different ways of for example if you look at this uh smart art right i would have even uh, simply written uh, point number 1 point number 2 point number 3 point number 4 right if you look at uh, my presentation in every presentation i try to you know uh, present the things in a different way so how to find out such kind of things 
fine uh, there are websites there are you know resources some of them are free resources some of them are paid resources so how to go for it how to edit it and how to present our data in a most effective manner so uh, i'll talk about those things uh, in 5 minutes time i'll also share certain softwares right where you can you know uh, prepare a presentation i i will not uh, insist that you go with powerpoint presentation right being a computer students if you come up with a website i'll be more than happy if you write in a blog i'll be more than happy right if you create a video and if you present it uh, it is acceptable it will be highly appreciated fine right? uh, there are many other ways too for example you can use prezi right other things so i'll i'll give you the list and hints just to uh, ignite your minds that these are the different ways you can go for it then attendance and closing remarks right so this is what we call the first phase of our session right this is what we had uh, thought of i had thought of doing that this is what i am going to talk in the first phase in the next phase i am going to talk about book review and i am going to also share uh, one youtube channel that channel has uh, beautifully impacted right uh, it's almost uh, every day either i watch youtube video uh, you know in youtube i watch ted talk or i go for this so i'm going to share the channel with you people over here you go for it it's it is very important it is very effective in a way because in 20 30 minutes time that person will give you the crux of entire book and books the you know which are hot you know uh, in market which are you know uh, best sellers in a way that will definitely impact and affect your life your lifestyles fine okay so uh, before we move ahead uh, if everybody has with me uh, especially yashpal uh, this is the strategy that uh, i have thought of for you people right we'll see the time will see you know uh, uh is the will be the witness how up to what extent we you know uh, will be able to follow it but this is more or less the structured way that i have thought of right so please tell me uh, up to here is everybody is okay uh you please type yes so that i can move ahead to the next phase that i can talk about uh, how to write a book a review and i'll share certain resources Yashpal can you unmute and tell me that uh, what what was your uh, uh, notion in the beginning of the lab and after you know uh, watching this after listening to this uh, the, what we call it the uh, the layout and the plan or the flow right uh, what what is your uh, opinion now because we like to run our class in a most democratic way right because this is what i i whatever i do i do it for you right so you tell me you are the source of uh, inspirations uh, so <clears throat> i want to like tell um, yes, one sir. word that you have put a uh, lot of work and dedication i really have to say that you um, put so much work so i just said thank you it's like unexpected um, I how guess, much you put uh, work in just yeah. um, Yashpal, uh, is it with everybody? I I face a little problem in listening to because uh, I I feel find your voice, uh, you know, the clarity is not there. So uh, I think there is a net issue or what? Yes, network issue. I will type it. Yeah, the same thing. Uh, can you do me a favor? Can you type it, right? Because that would be easiest easiest way. Just for this is your test. How fast you can type and that too correctly. By the time, if you have any uh, others, you know, uh, if you have any question or query, please tell me. Uh, let me know so that I know we can go ahead.
this is not like whatsapp i cannot see you know uh, yes pal is typing like that so i need to guess that he must be typing you can also simply say Sorry. yeah yes yes pal yes pal please you can also write Sorry. all is well <laughs> yes i already type it i think it's network issue yeah okay okay fine fine uh thank you you put much work in this lectures and this turn how we uh thank you thank you dear right you made my lunch delicious <laughs> I'd take everybody, right? I was more than happy when I could come to know that I am I'm going to deal with PC one class again, right? So uh, we'll try to do it better in a way. Fine. So let's go ahead with the presentation. Okay. The uh, this would be the quiz, right? Uh, as I mentioned, that there will be quiz and you need to score five out of five because uh, we need we believe in hundred percent results. That's why. Okay. This is assignment one. We are going to discuss today. right uh, you can select any book or you can select the book from the list right um, uh, somebody mentioned in the beginning of the lab that uh, you want all this sessions right so i specially designed it for you uh, you would be knowing that we upload all these sessions on youtube channel for you people to you know refer it later on uh, however i will uh, convert this uh, ppts into pdf files and upload to e content right so that you can refer it later on i'll also upload uh, uh syllabus and previous year's papers right for your reference so they can you can uh, set your goal and you can prepare in that way right okay so these are the books uh, you can win and you can read it fine and you can select it is there anybody who has read any any one book from this title the given titles no one okay i have got a big list you can type the name of that book in the comment box if you have read any one from the given list Two five six. How to win friends? The alchemist. The seven habits. Good. You know, uh, uh, seven habits highly effective people. I I read that book uh, some years back, and I remember page number ninety two. A uh, second habit. Plan your end before you begin. Right. So if you if you can do that, you can win the world. because you know when we we generally don't know when we start from rajkot we sometimes we lend to chotila we lend to uh, you know limbadi we reach to amdebad sometimes we sometimes we reach to gandhinagar sometimes we reach to surat sometimes we reach to baroda so the destination is amdebad but thing is that we don't have that uh, you know end in the mind so if you can do that it can help you fine so uh, that is very uh, effective book in a way we can say Uh, the seven habits of highly effective people uh, must read book and almost i think almost each book given the list has certain value you can win uh, by shivkhara is a masterpiece shivkhara's another book uh, 
that I read some years back, right? Uh, that also uh, living with honor that also uh, you know affected my thinking process, my thought process in a very different way. Fine. So we can go in that way also. Uh, Del Carnegie's all the books are beautiful, right? And if you are if you have not read any book, right? Uh, Polo Coelho's uh, The Alchemist is the book you can start with. It's very easy in a way. Uh, the language is lucid, and you can go in that way. If you are uh, if you want to be an effective communicator, the art and art of thinking clearly, right? That book, book number ten, is one of the best books, right? That will bring in lots of clarity in your minds. Well, you communicate with other people, right? So you there are the this list is you know a kind of bucket list. You know, one should read before one dies, right? Okay. Uh, then uh, if you look at the serial number twelve, born to be happy, right? By Pramod Batra, very uh, you know uh, self help book. You can go for it. Fine. Uh, Built from scratch, Vinith Bajpayee's book, right? Right, that book that has been translated in Gujarati in many other languages too. So in that book, she talks about uh, the minds of the people. Right, that people are not. There are some people who are not born to you know work for somebody. They are the job creators. They are not job seekers. Right. So you can read certain books, and that that will definitely help you. Uh, Dhruv Bhat's uh, uh, another Gujarati book, uh, Timir Panthi. Right. Uh, Timir Panthi, right? That novel is very beautiful, and you must have seen that movie. Uh, I guess which was that movie? I, I'll seek the help from my friend. Uh, Reva. The name of the book is Reva. Right? The movie name is Reva. Uh, I have watched that movie uh, somewhere around hundred times, and uh, out of hundred forty times during lockdowns. Fine. It will tell you that you know, how you can look at your future, right? So that these books are there, which will help you to set your goals of your life. Ernest Hemingway is a very old and you know eminent personality uh, as an author. That person has written lots of books, right? Old Man and the Sea. You can go for it. It's a very beautiful book. So uh, before I start. Yeah, Narmada River. Anil, you are right. Hello. Uh, am I audible now? Is it an issue with my uh, voice? Okay. I guess the. Hello. Okay. There was an issue with uh, uh, my Bluetooth mic. I was trying, you know, reconnected it. So it's normal now. 
now uh, i would like to ask any but you know you people that uh, is there any book that has uh, you know impacted a lot on your mindsets your personality that you read somewhere in the past it may not be from the list right it can be anyone it can be in any language it can be gujarati it can be hindi it can be english if we can if we can share Anil, <laughs> you are in a class, right? And it's a nice book. Can you tell me that how is it has impacted on your personality, or what was the uh, the two things or one thing that you liked about the book? see the when when we talk about the favorite book right we have everything on fingertips right you please write yes if you have read any book so i get to know except yashpal singh because he has read three books it has been shown right hello this is something in a need of the time because i don't understand that why people you know get depressed right so uh, people you know bother a lot on small things tiny things right so things are things do not affect us unless we allow them to affect us right so very nice one i have not read this book but i i'll i'll, I'll definitely uh, if you have a soft copy you share me share with me i'll i'll definitely have a look at it right apart from hanil and yashpal singh yashpal singh you can share your ideas uh the about any book that you like the most disha dirgha dipen kayur Meloni, me here. Neeti, where are you people? See, we we want to come out from the typical traditional style where I speak and you listen to. We want to discuss a lot because that's why this is the meaning of lab, where we have limited number of students and more time, so we can discuss and you know reach to certain conclusions. We can have certain thing take home. till the last bit very good nice choice disha meet where are you i don't want silent creatures right in the lab everybody should participate I have a dream by Rashmi Balsal. Very nice book. Very nice book. Jai, what have you done? Jai, tell me, which book have you read? Textbook, sir. <laughs> I I knew that. I'll be getting some bouncer from you. <laughs> you are still a last bencher, Jai. <laughs> no sir. <laughs> Apart from textbooks, better what you have read? No one sir. No books. Okay, fine. Yes, Hanil, the secret. Even the secret book. right the very a very beautiful book and very effective i tell you that right uh, whatever we wish that happens but the problem is we don't know how to how to wish how to think how to dream that's the biggest problem sanjana there are uh, you know uh, actually there are different types of learners fine so uh, i tell you that in 2004 i created one uh, i did one experiment uh, i created uh, videos of 1 minute 
and 1 mb at that time jio was not that much generous right so uh, net pack was something you know uh, which was not afforded affordable by everybody so i created 1 minute 1 mb and 20 videos of our, uh, our syllabus communication skills right at the time the name of the subject was communication skills so what i used to do was i uploaded on youtube and uh, students when the through any student starts from the campus and reaches the home right in the city it takes somewhere around 20 minutes so during this 20 minutes time you can revise your entire syllabus a uh, two of those videos i had shared with dilga for uh, opening remarks right i'll ask dilga to share a response on that uh, after 2 minutes fine then later on after a year uh, some students came to me and they told me right sir uh, when we are in a bus it is difficult to look at the screen and all so can we do something where we can you know uh, uh, something in audible form where uh, audio podcast was something new i'm talking about 2005 5 years back down the line in the past right so i i uh, selected 25 students from computer right so uh, they came up and i you know i uh, assigned them the topics and they started uh, recorded their voice for the topic fine so uh, after that i created i compiled all those voices together audios together and created a an a book audio book on communication skills uh, very soon i'm going to upload on my youtube channel all this you know audios so what you need to do is you you know just plug your uh, earphones in your ears and you can listen to and that to in different varieties of accents and different backgrounds of students different ideas of students how to present it right so this is how when students interacts when students you know uh, uh, share together so we get to know that this is something we can go next an extra mile uh sanjana same he is with me uh, or don't like reading but my first book till the last but uh, encourage me to read more yeah this is disha very good you can you know uh, uh, inspire your friends to go for it so uh, i wish that by one week time by four weeks time you pick up any book and you complete it right uh, not on the days of the si- total size of the book or number of pages but the book that you like you select it wisely i tell you that you select to you know you spend one time one week time for selecting a book and three weeks time to read that book because that will give you motivation till the last page of the book fine okay now uh, uh, the way i was telling you that yeah uh, dirga can you share your experience on those two videos of two minutes based on that you presented your opening remarks on yesterday um yeah sir it's good that i i don't know about much uh, communication but after that video i can explain what is communication and all these things right it's right it really has made me right especially for uh, last moment revision because in 20 minutes time you have entire you know syllabus on your fingertips fine yeah so, sir mm-hmm. fine thank you dilga and the same way i'm going to share audios with you people right okay now uh, i will uh, ask you people to uh, uh, watch some of the videos here right this is what uh, the name of the channel i have shared on the comment box uh, this is udan ngo fine uh, this is the person right uh, uh, who shares book reviews in hindi right he call it it is english right so it is hindi english you know in a mixed form but there are books he has you know described right i tell you that uh, what was my routine when i go for morning walk at 5 in the morning right uh, by the time uh, i you know take two rounds or one and a half rounds of resco ring road i used to listen to one book review you know from this right so in the morning in the starting of the morning you get you have a food for your mind you have food for your body you have food for your soul right so that in that way you can cite examples you can share details right it is not necessary now to read entire book right but you have that in depth in detailed uh, summary of that book explained very well right 
in that way you can go for it fine so uh, sanjana i would you know specially suggest you that you go for it and uh, you listen to certain videos it will take 20 minutes 30 minutes time you can in a spare in the evening time and go for it it will help you right uh, i i do not market this or canvas this right but this is a beautiful uh, uh, channel i came across from uh, suggested by one of my friends right and that will help you even those who are uh, those who like to go for public speaking right uh, in that way also uh, the quotations the statements the sentences that you can pick from or choose from these videos and note it down with the author and the title of the book so that will also help you to enrich your content when you present somewhere right the way i told you that you know the the book the seven habits of highly effective people so it is there in my mind deeply carved right so when i talk in that way it will it is going to impress influence people definitely because it is there in the blood now fine right? so uh, definitely it will help you fine right? so uh, i guess you know uh, five minutes or seven minutes time i i give you just go through this link explore certain videos and i'm going to ask you people and right, in a in a form of a quiz find that which book right and which author right you pick and choose any one or five seven videos right and you know conclude or freeze one and you i'll ask you to share the name of the book and uh, other one or two surprise questions fine so it is 1204 till till 1210 6 minutes you explore these videos right and be online i'll again connect with you people at 1210 by the time you explore from this channel and then we'll you know ask you to share your feedbacks and then i'm going to explain uh, how to write a book review when you watch this it will help you to you know uh, prepare your book review in a best possible manner so i'll again connect you connect with you people after 5 minutes
I guess everybody is busy watching videos, right? There's one minute to go. Yeah. So, are you lost? And then awesome of all the videos. This, this, you know, channel would help you to, you know, fall in love with the books. Fine. And uh, I'm going to share a few audible, you know, books, audio books. Right, uh, from Audible, from Kindle, fine. So that you can, you know, go ahead, uh, sitting anywhere, and you can, you know, start reading, listening to the books, and you know that can be a good way even to improve your speaking skills because in listening is your input and speaking is your output. So even that will help you. Fine. So uh, let's come back to the business. Fine. Okay. Kayur Kushal Kishan. Niyati, Niyati, where are you? I could not listen to you. Are you there or not? You know how to verify? Yes, sir, I am here. Okay, okay, better. Thank you. Okay, Kayur. Yes, sir. Okay, fine, fine. So, how how was the video? Could Kayur, could you find uh, could you find the channel interesting? Yes, sir. Fine, fine. Okay, so explore certain videos and let you know. Uh, let us discuss in the next lab, right? Yes. Fine, fine. Okay. Depend. Depend. Which book did yes, you like? Start of happiness. Start of happiness. Wow, great. Okay. Fine. Barthiv. Parthiv is silent. Where are you, Parthiv? Yes, sir. Yeah, which yeah. book do you like? Goals. Goals. Okay, great. Okay. Sanjana, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with your comment that uh, there are uh, uh, good books, you know, uh, that might inspire you, right? 
and uh, definitely you would like to read certain books right so you read uh, you listen to this or watch this uh, a summary and after summary you will get to know that what that book is about so that will inspire you to read sanjana what do you say sanjana where are you fine okay all the best beta fine okay so can can we move ahead with the next phase can can i start uh, sh- discussing uh, how to write a book review so you need to write in comment box yes so that i can go ahead this is virtual nodding right <laughs> great great okay so let's start with that this would be your uh, format right i have given in page number but that can be slides right and i tell you that this is a suggestive uh, layout that doesn't mean that you need to follow this uh, strictly right you can bring in um, uh, your own versions and you can surprise me happily fine but here uh, what is required uh, in the first page or first slide that is students information your name your enrollment number your class division semester whatever is there you need to mention that and when we uh, specifically talk about any book right so what are the common things that one needs to know about that book right the specific title of the book who is the author or who are the authors there can be many authors or one author right publication date when it was published right uh, see if there are many uh, editions right you considered the first edition and the last edition that is firstly it was published in 1992 and now uh, fifth edition is 2020 you can mention in this way fine okay then publisher who is the publisher edition i told you that you can mention here fourth edition fifth edition like that genre of the book right there are books which are comedy motivational self help tragedy fiction non fiction right uh, for jai uh, textbooks right jai <laughs> yes sir yeah so textbooks will be excluded from this list right okay so general you will get to know right uh, the number of pages uh, special features of the book for example it, if it is related to maps or diagrams there are graphs the cover page is different right the book sizes are different right so you can talk about it isbn right is there anybody in the lab in this present class who who has idea about what is isbn yes sir yes patu it is international standard book number okay and what is it what is it used for mm every book has a unique uh, number okay so what is the purpose of doing this not sure about it okay beta well, well done but you have got uh, you you whatever you answered that part was absolutely correct see uh, isbn yes. the way party say that isbn stands for international standard book number that means every book has one standard number if it has been published in the uh, in the way it should be published as per the norms of the government right so every publisher right every publisher has to apply right to the government and government will allot assign certain isbn numbers and then after publishing the book that publisher has to submit few copies to the government right with that book title and cover so that they can you know upload in the database right now uh, you cannot find a duplicate isbn number across the globe fine right? that means if you do not know the uh, exact title or edition or publisher right you can if you have that isbn number that is more than enough num- you know more than enough for you to find out that book it is in a simplest way we can say for a layman it is an aadhar card for book that is the identity of the book 
fine so it's uh, in india generally it starts you know we we have two types of isbn numbers isbn 10 and isbn 13 fine so that will help you now i tell you that uh, when you are going to uh, uh, you know in the future we are going to develop websites and e-commerce uh, you know web portals here listing is done based on isbn right when you upload your database it is ba- you know based on isbn number there should not be duplication of the books right so in that way it is done uh, likewise there is another uh, you know acronym called issn right it is used for you know research journals issn is used for international journals your homework is you find out what is the full form of issn i s s n right right now it is not required to google it right you listen to me now i know some of you people are very enthu then you just minimize and start typing it right issn number is there along with that right there is another one thing my right? another thing uh, apart from issn and isbn especially it is used for products right the way we have when we buy biscuits or any product they have got batch number right so what is that batch number then there is barcode right so what is barcode qr code there are certain things which will you know which are very important elements to understand right so uh, you can explore it my job is to just to ignite you you know motivate you inspire you you can you know google it later on then page number 3 talks about your view regarding the book keeping in mind the following questions so here you need to ask 1 2 3 4 and 5 questions in a, in a broader way right so by asking this question to yourself with reference to the book you have read right you will get the certain answers and that answer would be justification for that particular question right for example what was the story about so you can write down a brief summary right what is summary what is abstract what is pressy i discussed in the last semester i don't need to revise it you can go through the youtube videos and you can go for it right okay now thing is here we you, you summarize right uh, there are no limits for summary it can be it can be uh, you know uh, 300 words 600 words 10 pages whatever but especially when i ask you to present on powerpoint presentation or you present online it is always advisable that you have all those summary in form of bullet points when you present it in a word document it is different when you present it in a powerpoint it is different right so i am going to ask you to present these things right on a powerpoint presentation or presenting online in the lab so it is advisable right that you keep in mind that you need to convert your summary in bullet points so that you can discuss about it then who are the major or minor characters so when it is a story there will be characters or character right so major character if you look at three idiots how many characters were there right so you can talk about there were three major characters or four major characters and then minor characters if you look at the movie rang the basanti there were you know uh, there were characters some of them were major characters some of them were minor characters so there are you know from movies from the books you can get to know about it fine then what did you you know uh, what did the major or minor characters to uh, do in the story so here here we need to talk about what is their uh, impact how they affected uh, the story or what is their contribution in the story itself so you can talk about it right uh, the second question talks about characteristics uh, the third question talks about their contribution their stake in the story right then who was your favorite character and why so who is or who was you can mention in any of the ways right so your favorite character out of 5 7 characters who is your favorite character and there are seven eight reasons why uh, i am speaking uh, absolutely hypothetically right uh, that it it can be seven point it can be three point it can be four point it can be you know nine point or two point or three point but it should not be only one point like i like it it should not be there it should be justifiable so minimum three maximum nine in a way you can mention if your book has uh, motivational stories which story motivated you uh, for example there are uh, certain books self help books right they talk about stories uh, telling a story is best way to share things 
find especially your personal stories right a small anecdotes anecdote means a small story fine so you can find out that okay this was the incident this was the subplot this was the uh, you know uh, area this was the dialogue this was the story or small story or sub story that affected me or that inspired me motivated me in a way so you can you know mention these things right okay so there can be separate slides for each or there can be more than one slide for each question depending on how uh, deeply you studied the book and you like to mention the book right page number 4 is your personal opinion uh, opinions regarding the book right uh, did you like the book this is uh, a question uh, which will uh, always have a right answer uh, like yes because if you don't like a book you will not read the book right but what was the reason here what is expected from you smartly critically you know is and to answer is why you like this book which was your most or la least favorite part of the book right uh, list you may add you may not add you can go positively optimistically and you can mention that these are the seven eight or uh, not things that i like about the book right uh, these were the backbones or pillars of the book that that you know uh, that could you know hold me uh, to complete the book the way we uh, start the series at 10 and we complete the series at 6 in the morning right we watch entire series together right so here there are readers who read the book in 24 hours or 48 hours right so what was that you know element in the book that you liked the most then uh, could you relate to any of the characters in the story have you ever done or felt some of the things the characters deep right so i, I as i mentioned about you know this rang the basandi type of thing right so there are things that influence us when you read a book right you try you 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 know mingle with the story you feel like you are there in the story and if you do that right that means you are 100% involved in the reading so you can talk about it right Uh, if you could change something what would, would it be right for example after reading a book you got ins uh, you know inspired and uh, what is that what has uh, you know that 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 comes with you for a long time so what is that element what is that uh, sent statement or sentence right so it can, that can be any sentence or in can be any dialogue or any story or any incident that touches us right so we can mention about it then uh, that goes to recommendations right and recommendations so you can recommend uh, whom to recommend this book the way i shared the second link second links uh, talk about the top five books for the students so uh, to whom to recommend this book and why and what are the issues or uh, you know uh, challenges of that particular uh, age group whom you like to suggest this book and how it can be helpful to them you need to talk about it later and this kind of person would you like to read the book right so what would be the person right uh, it can be uh, background wise academic wise it can be gender wise right it can be regional wise right so you can you uh, know select and you can mention about it uh, what ratings would you give to the book and why so according to you this is a best book you say that i like it but why you like it right so you can mention you justify it so here uh, by writing this what will happen that you will get to know that in your practical life in your professional life when you go every time whenever you answer anything when you take a stand you will have to justify why if you remember my lecture on essay writing paragraph writing i mentioned that in the first paragraph you write a thesis statement with three reasons so you take a stand and you share that these are the three reasons why this is my stand right i like online attending online lectures these are the three reasons right so then that, that way that person can get convinced that yes he is right he is not bluffing right he has got depth in his, with his answers at the stand so you can mention in this way right so uh, this is what uh, the type is now uh, from page 1 slide 1 uh, will start working it on right uh tell me uh, if you have a question with the slide one or any of this right uh, 10 minutes we'll discuss about it that with this presentation if you have anything in your mind 
uh, which can be added, updated in this presentation. I would like to share uh, it, uh, the session is open, right? And uh, you are invited to share your views. Fine. What I'll do is for one minute, I will, you know, hold one slide. I'll you know walk you through all the slides one by one. And after that, I'll ask you that what is your opinion? If you have no, no opinion, right? That, okay, whatever is there, it is fine. You need to tell me why, right? If you have a question, you answer and you tell me why, fine. So what I'll do is I'll go through it, right? Page number one, page number two. I'll hold it for a minute. You go through it. You note it down in your book or in a, in a notepad or whatever, fine. And let me know if you feel that this can be added, right? When I ask you. So it's 12.30, 12.31, one minute, I'll keep this on screen. You go through it and you just find it there. What element can be added, updated, removed, uh, whatever you say. Yeah, the session is open. Before that, uh, lab one, lab one, uh, Disha, Disha was to uh, close and open uh, lab two, right? That is Mihir, Mihir from a batch, right? Mihir and Disha. I'll ask you both of you to, you know, I'll ask both of you to close the session, closing remarks, your experience about it, fine, uh, in the last. Till now, if you have a question or query, if you have anything to update with, let me know. If you don't say anything, I'll consider that the, whatever I have presented is best, is apt. Then I'll ask you randomly that uh, which part did you like the most? 
from the given book review layout or template you can unmute your mic and you can speak Definitely, Ashpal. You can go for a video. I would love it. Right? Uh, I'm not going to ask you for PDF. It can be the PPT or video, right? Or it can be, for example, it can be a, a infographic, right? Something new, right? That that you know, while showing this, I can I can you know I can proudly say that this is my uh, student from computer engineering. Computer is equal to creativity. So you can bring in any creativity uh, with, uh, you wish. Nista, what is your stand? If you're comfortable, you can speak or you can type. Yes, sir. Yeah. What What is other than yes? <laughs> I enjoyed it. You enjoyed it. No, it's not about session. It. I. Uh, it's about template. I asked you. Did you mm. go through the template? Yes. Any page other? three yeah. is interesting. Page three is interesting. Okay. But can we add something or it's okay? No, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. So page three. Wow. Okay. So that's the heart of your uh, presentation, right? Good. Yes. Thank. Thank you, Nista. Mithul. Mithul, if you are present. Mithul, is it your lunch time or what? Where are you? See, the problem is I can randomly pick up anybody. So you cannot, the way uh, you know people do, you start a Google Meet and you meet somewhere else with somebody, right? It's not possible. Mithul is out somewhere. Mithul, if you don't know how to unmute your mic, you can watch the video on YouTube. Where is Miloni? Miloni, uh, what is your opinion about the template? Hello. Hello. Hello, Miloni. Better you can type if you if you are not comfortable you know, speaking, you can type it in the comment box. It's okay. Harsh Jitsi, you have been silent for a long time. Yes, sir. Yeah, tell me, what is your opinion about the template? I think page 3 and page 4 are good. Fine. And uh, what you are planning to uh, prepare? Is it a PowerPoint presentation or like Yespal, you are going to go for a video? I didn't think about it. Okay. Take your time. Don't Don't worry. Okay, fine. So, Disha and Mihir, uh, are, are you uh, ready with your closing remarks? Disha was to open the session today, but it's an orientation session. So, I thought that uh, I'll assign closing remarks to both of them so that we can go with that pattern. So, I would request Mihir first. Mihir. 
to close uh, to share the closing remarks mihir are you there yes sir yeah me tell me uh, before that uh, Mit, uh, mithul uh, is facing some problem in network issues it's okay mithul uh, no issue mihir you can start your closing remarks uh, so we will talk about uh, lab activity and uh, uh, some books to some books uh, okay uh, to inspire the red the book and good thank you very good mithul mihir very good right okay uh, disha yes sir yep you are lucky one back to back two days <laughs> uh, so sir am i audible yeah please go ahead beta Uh, good afternoon everyone uh, today we uh, learned uh, first of all we discussed what we will do uh, in the, in this semester in english lab sessions then we uh, went on with a book review the procedure of book review uh, the how we have to uh, write a book review and how we have to present it and this uh, opening and closing sessions is really reminding us of the starting of the second semester because in the starting we did all this then due to this uh, corona and all we stopped and again we started it so it's a uh, really we are enjoying this online sessions and learning it is giving the uh, experience of what we were doing in college right we are enjoying it a lot okay fine fine okay uh, anybody else apart from disha would like to share see uh, why uh, you you might understand now that why i emphasize on uh, feedback right your uh, remarks your reviews because this is something you know which will give us uh, which will rather give me an idea that how to you know take the sessions in which direction fine because the ultimate target is to satisfy you people to help you people to understand things in a very lucid way fine so can we call it done for the day because attendance everybody is present i have got the google sheet i'll map up i am mapped with so i'll go through it and i'll check it out even i have got that plugin that up to uh, during uh, the lab session or lecture session uh, for what time you were there you know uh, attending the session even that i can map with right but i am not uh, i have that mercy with you people that i am not going to talk that you need to you know we can have little bit flexibility even we had in the lab but i wish that the more you attend the more you will be benefited fine so yeah somebody oh, unmuted mic Yes. Kayur, are you back? Yes, sir. Yeah, Kayur, tell me. What? Yeah, tell me your uh, opinion. The, tell me your experience. You share. Sir, my experience was very good. Okay. I don't feel any issue and queries. Okay, that's good. No news is good news. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, the area uh, mentioned that uh, uh, we can add one more element. That what was the purpose of uh, the book, right? That means uh, what actually the book wants to say. Uh, it has been uh, indirectly talking about it, but you, if you can find out that why the author was inspired to write that book, that will help you. for example uh, i tell you that uh, uh, in the late 90s somewhere around in 98 99 i read one book uh, it was a small novel of uh, i guess uh, you know short story type of thing uh, based on drama the name of the uh, title the was uh, an inspector calls an inspector calls it was written by john john morton pistley jb pistley it was a very famous uh, author jb presley was reading uh, old testament you know old testament and new testament they are two types of bibles 
Bible which was uh, uh, which was there before the birth of Jesus, right? Christ, right? That was called Old Testament, wherein you will find that people, you know, uh, uh, it is mentioned that God created, you know, uh, heavens and uh, oceans and mountains and all. And uh, what has been there after the Jesus Christ is called New Testament. So Adam and Eve, the story you must be knowing, Cain and Abel. So once what happened that uh, uh, Adam and Eve's son, Cain and Abel, Cain and Abel, they were there, uh, and uh, the God was passing by. Cain was a tiller, was a farmer, and uh, Abel was, uh, you know, uh, I guess he was, he was a shepherd, right? He used to keep, you know, sheep and all, right? So. Uh, God asked Ken that where is your brother? Where is your brother? And uh, Ken had a kind of mindset, in, somehow a kind of prejudice in his mind that uh, God loves his brother Abel more than him. So he was with prejudice. He replied to God, right, that I am not the keeper of my brother. I am not the keeper of my brother. That means I don't know where my brother is. You know, you go and search him. So that statement, you know, reflected the sense, sense of irresponsibility towards your duty in society. When we are in a family, we have certain responsibilities, right? We, we are interconnected, right? So based on that statement, J.B. Presley, you know, wrote one novel called Inspector Calls. And it is one of the best suspense novels I have read in my life. You will be surprised to know that there were more than 1,000 uh, you know, uh, shows based on this. There was a drama in Inspector Coles in Australia, right? And there were more than 1,000 shows at that time, particular time, right? So if you find somewhere in Inspector Coles, I can bet that in one sitting you can read the book, but it will, you know, uh, keep you hold it, right? In, uh, until you complete that. So that's a beautiful one. Uh, there are abridged versions, you not know, short version of 50, 60 pages. You will uh, get it online, right? And if you don't find it, and if you are still interested, you get back to me. I'll all, I'll definitely provide you because I have taught that book. I've read that book for you know years, and that is this still. It's like it fresh in my mind, like a morning dew. Fine. So there are books which gives you uh, lots of you know uh, inputs, insights. Uh, which gives you uh, intervention to think about your life and your mindset, your goal settings, right? So this is what uh, a book can help you. Fine. Uh, if you have nothing more to share uh, or say, right? We can call it a uh, you know all for the day, and uh, you may be busy with your uh, you may be waiting for your lunch. You know. So before you, uh, before I test your patience, you can call it for a day, right? So if you don't have any question or query, uh, we can, you know, wind up the session and we can meet again next week in the lab and next week in the session. Fine. I hope that you have enjoyed the session thoroughly and uh, I, I did it uh, thoroughly, right? So uh, we'll meet again. Fine. So goodbye, everyone. Uh, enjoy your lunch. Thank you very much for the day. Thank you.